Welcome to the show, 67th for November 18th, 2009. I'm Dan Doherty, your host of this fantastic daily show and the CEO of tiptopwebsite.com, where you can create your own website online in 60 seconds for only $1. Let's jump right into the news. Hooper Murdoch back in the news. Murdoch from Fox News and, uh, you know, the uh, New York Times and pretty much every other newspaper and magazine out there. He's like the publishing uh, empire king. So he was actually an uh, editor. His first editing job was uh, back when he was in his, uh, 20 years old now. The guy's in his 70s. So he definitely knows a lot about the newspaper business. He said, without a doubt, newspapers as we see them now, the hard copies of newspapers, you know, you put the quarter in, you pull it out, 35 cents, 50 cents, whatever your newspaper is, it's going out of business. They've been saying that forever. You know, I talked about last year, San Francisco Chronicle losing a million dollars a week. So Murdoch says, yes, it's going out of business, but people will get their newspapers still on a Kindle-like device. You know what the Kindle is? There's a picture of it there. Kindle-like device, uh, like an e-tablet. So imagine having a Kindle-like device. Think of a laptop, but just a screen, okay? No keyboard. Black and white, crisp and clear, battery lasts for a week. You could read every newspaper from around the world you wanted for, let's say, 20 bucks a month. Would you pay it? Kind of like a Netflix thing? Sure. You could read magazines in England and France and Germany and Australia, New York Times, Wall Street Journal, LA Times, everything, touch of a button and everything gets downloaded to your Kindle like device or, you know, whatever it's called. You know, Murdoch wants to make his own. Everyone's making their own now. Chronicle wants to make their own. You know, maybe it was 10 bucks a month to get all the newspapers in America for 10 bucks a month. Would you pay it? Of course. It'd be no, a no brainer. So... I mean, I would. I'd, I would for the news if I had it all in one spot. I, you know, search on the internet all the time for the news. But if I can go and do a search for technology in 50, 60 different newspapers that I choose on a daily basis, wow, that'd be, a, I think it'd be worth it. And no ads, it'd be fantastic. So Murdoch says uh, people will pay 15 to $19 a month for this service. He's been pushing this and he's, you know, in full development with it. He's going to make his own Kindle type device, like I said. So, Murdoch back in the news, and uh, he's a forefront. People, you know, like I said, they think he's a crazy old man, but, you know, don't write him off. He knows what he's talking about. Here is talking about crazy. Microsoft stores that open up all over, a lot of them are opening right next to Apple stores. You know, people love the Apple. Apple's just cool. You know, I use a Windows machine. I like it. You know, uh, people use Apple machines because they think they're cool. I use uh, Windows because it works for what I do. And it supports uh, about three or four thousand times more software products out there than Apple. Okay, but Microsoft, even though they're still dominating, I mean, world domination in the internet computing PC market, without a doubt, they've got it. When I say PC, personal computer, that that's for Apple people out there. It's a personal computer. It's in your house. It's in your notebook. It's in your backpack. It's a personal computer. So they've opened, I'm looking at this, this video, it's just, I'm shaking my head. They've opened up these stores, and they're trying to be like, you ever gone to Cold Stone Creamery? Cold Stone Creamery, every time you tip them, they sing and dance. It's, uh, it's like Sesame Street, and I always uh, give them a tip, and I say, I'll tip you, but please don't sing and dance. It's, uh, it's beyond goofy. But uh, Microsoft is doing that. Let me show you the video. It's, it just speaks for itself. That's how not to be cool. I don't know if they, they want people not to buy their product or what. But, uh, you know, here at tiptopwebsite.com, let me show you how we do it. All right. <laughs> that was actually a CC Music Factory from, uh, let me give them credit, from Sony BMG Music. Uh, Freedom Williams, going to make you sweat everybody dance. Now, it was a big uh, dance song back when I, I was in the nightclub business 20 years ago. So 
I, I don't know what's going on with Microsoft. You know, I don't know who's running their advertising campaign, but uh, stop. So uh, Microsoft, more Microsoft, Azure. Azure, I think they call it, A-Z-U-R-E. They've been testing it for about a year. Uh, it'll be releasing in January, so uh, you heard it here, folks. First, cloud computing. Cloud computing's been around for a while. All Google's on cloud. Cloud, remember I told you, a bunch of uh, small, inexpensive servers out there in different data centers across the country, across the world, and people host their stuff on there. TiptopWebsite.com is hosted in a dedicated uh, uh, server farm with de on dedicated servers. String of servers all linked together, dedicated military-grade server to get on there. My shows, my daily shows, because it's so much bandwidth intensive is in so much storage on TipTop website, I spend so much money on the dedicated servers uh, for the site always be ready for you to go. The video for clouds perfect for like video content or, or audio content or music just to shove up there because there's no programming. It's just a live stream coming down. And it's, when I say live, you click on it. It's live coming from their stream, their server, the cloud server directly to your computer. So I'll trust the cloud for that. I'm not trusting the cloud for my company. Uh, but my daily videos, sure, I'll trust it. If it, uh, if it doesn't work, I'll, I'll switch it over to one of my uh, tip-top website servers. But uh, I've used it in the past. It hasn't been great, but uh, recently they've made it faster. I don't use uh, Microsoft, but I'll check it out. Amazon, the book company, they're the first people, one of the first people to start the cloud service, and uh, they've done extremely well. So uh, Microsoft again, is uh, very behind in the game, but should do well in the enterprise market, big businesses. So check that out. I'll put a link in the show notes, but um, I'm just still shaking my head for the Microsoft video. All right. So, hey, tiptopwebsite.com. Our whole point here is to make it simple. Someone came in the office day. They have a bed and breakfast, and they're just getting the run around from their current hosting company. A lady just, she must have thanked us 50 times, 52 times, we'll say. Uh, she's a really sweet lady. She was a, uh, and she just simply wanted to update her website. Didn't know how to do it. Couldn't get a hold of the company to host it. So we said, "Here, get one with us. Three o'clock in the morning, you can do it. We make it so simple." And she watched us do it and said, "I can't believe how easy this is. Your website, my website with you, is going to look so much better than my current one, and I can do it myself, and for about a tenth of the price." That's what we're about here. TipTopWebsite.com. Use the promo code Dan. At sign up, get a free domain, tell your friends to watch the show, tell your friends to use the promo code. I'll see you tomorrow.